The graph shows the velocity time graph for a car as it travels along a straight road. The car sets off from some traffic lights and stops momentarily at the road junction. The velocity v meters per second of the car at t seconds after leaving the traffic lights is modelled by v is equal to 0 0.02 t cubed minus 0 0.8 t squared plus 8 t for t being between 0 and 24. It says calculate the distance from the traffic lights to the road junction. Okay, so using the uh, graph, okay, the important point is this point here where it just touches the axis because that's where the bus will stop momentarily. So we require this, where this is equal to zero. So we need to solve 0 0.02 t cubed minus 0 0.8 t squared plus 8 t is equal to zero. Um, so using detailed reasoning, so not using a calculator, we're going to take out 0 0.02t. That will give me t squared. And if you uh, divide 0 0.8 by 0 0.02, you're going to get minus 40. And if you divide 8 by it, you're going to get 400, which is equal to 0. And this is a perfect square because you're going to expect a repeated root. So you're going to go 0 0.02. If you factorize this, you're going to get t minus 20, t minus 20 is equal to 0, i.e. a repeated root. And therefore, t is 0, or t is 20, which is the one that we actually want. Right, we need to calculate the distance. So the distance on a velocity uh, time graph is given by the area underneath the curve here. And we need to integrate the curve from 0 to 20. So setting up the correct integral, and it's important that you set up the, the integral properly, so we've got the distance is equal from 0 to 20, from 0 to 20 of the function, integral of the function uh, with respect to t. So integrating, we're going to have 0 0.02, add 1 to the power, we get t to the 4 divided by 4, minus 0 0.8 t cubed divided by 3, plus 8 t squared divided by 2 from 0 to 20. Substituting in the limits, uh, 0 0.02 over 4 times 20 to the 4, minus 0 0.8 over 3 times 10 to 20 cubed, plus 8 over 2 times 20 squared. Take away 0, but don't always assume if you substitute 0 into something in the integration that it is uh, 0. Working that out will give you 266.66, which is 267 metres to 3 significant figures. So this has been a video to show you how to find the distance from a velocity time graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.